Today is Sunday, November 1st, 2020. The Ministry of Health received confirmation of six new cases of COVID-19. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed in country to 84. Case number 79 is a 44-year-old male from the Babano district. Case number 80 is a 33-year-old female from the Viewfort district. Case number 81 is a 65-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 82 is a 4-year-old male from the Viewfort district. Case number 83 is a 27-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 84 is a 62-year-old female from the Viewfort district. All of the cases following testing for COVID-19 were in quarantine awaiting their results. Five of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process. Epidemiological links have been established in five of these cases. Case 79 is linked to case 65. Cases number 80, 82 and 84 are linked to case 59. Case number 81 is linked to case 50. As per protocol, arrangements have been made for the transfer of these individuals into care at the respiratory hospital. As we proceed into the coming week, the team at the Ministry of Health will continue contact tracing, testing, and placing persons in care as needed. Let's all be guided by the new advisories that were issued by the government of St. Lucia last week. We ask all who will be within their work environments commuting via public transportation, going into public places to transact business or going through their routine daily activities to be on a higher level of awareness. Ensure that in undertaking all of your activities that you remain aware of the need to act in ways that will reduce the risk of being exposed to the COVID-19 virus. Our behaviors to prevent exposure to the virus do not only benefit us personally, our behaviors also benefit our families, our colleagues, our neighbors, and our friends. By taking responsibility for our health, we'll be creating a safer, healthier environment for all and reduce the threat of COVID-19 in our country. Let's continue to practice the guidelines to reduce exposure to the virus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer when hand washing is not possible. Every time you are in public, be sure to wear a mask. Maintain a separation of six feet from others, which is about two arms length apart. And seek medical care if experiencing respiratory symptoms, which include fever, cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat. All of these measures, when done together, will greatly reduce the risk of exposure to the COVID-19 virus. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.